Okay, everybody, in this tutorial, I want to show you my C++ collision detection using um, C++ and separation of axis theorem. All right, so what's basically going on is I have my world, as you can see, um, and I have two shapes so far. Uh, one up here, this one is movable, and we have this one down here, which is immovable. And I'm going to use my uh, GUI system here, and I'm going to click this button to simulate this collision. And I, when I release it, the collision occurs. Simple enough. I can add more shapes as I please. And as you can see, the collision is working pretty well. Now I'm going to show you how to actually implement something like this by go, going over my code and maybe you can take a couple notes and see if, if this is something that you want to do as well okay so basically here I have my entire simulation process going on I have this variable which is just a boolean that holds a value of true or false and these three variables store the collision results so we can use them to find out if there was a collision and also to see if there's a penetration and how by how much and in which direction the collision occurred so here we're going to loop through all as you can see here from here to here we're basically looping through all the rigid bodies in our simulation and adding a gravity to them and then next we're going to take this collision this uh, rigid body and check it against a collision of another uh, rigid body right here and we're going to use two indices to do a collision detection of doing I body versus J body to try to see this collision between the two of them and if there's a collision indicated by this variable and also if there's a penetration and if it's if it is a movable object and if the collision has not already occurred before go ahead and resolve the collision by firstly separating this rigid body from the other one and then add a collision impulse which is basically an inverse or opposite as acceleration and add that opposite acceleration to uh, this collision body so that it stops moving to penetrate the other object and then lastly we want to add the opposite of we want to add the opposite of uh, gravity so that we stop going through the objects and, and then finally after we're done checking the collision we're going to do what is uh, basically an update of the variable by adding acceleration to velocity and then adding finally velocity to position and um, then basically clearing out acceleration to zero and clearing the collision occur to false and then finally we render the object I'm sure many of you are interested to see what this collision method looks like and that's what we're going to talk about now here we're going to get the relative position of the two objects we're going to get the relative velocity of the two objects these are going to hold our depth of penetration if there is any that is if this value is negative then it's penetrating if it's positive that means we're going to have future collision um, and then here we're going to loop through this is for object A and this is for object B I say objects I really mean rigid body this is for rigid body A and this is for rigid body B and what this does is we're going to loop, loop through uh, rigid body A's set of vertices to see if there's any uh, sorry norm normals to see if any normals separate these two objects if there is one 
then we um, then we would then we return and say that there wasn't any collision. But the, if if there isn't, then we just keep going and keep going and keep going, and we store all the axes to which there is a collision by. Uh, the same thing we do for the second object. And then finally at the end we find here we find um, the access axes I should say by which best describes the direction in which the collision occurred and to find by how much collision occurred as, as far as whether there's going to be a collision in the future or if there's going to be um, if there is already a collision and by how much there is a penetration and then we, ju we just go ahead and return um, the normal of collision and the depth of penetration um, so uh, here this is where we're going to talk about uh, how you actually find out if there was a collision or not and that function looks something like this so basically we're projecting all the vertices onto the normal and then storing the intervals for object A here and storing the intervals for object B here we actually get those intervals and then this is where the off offset or relative position of the two come in and this is used to help translate one object into the space local space of the other object because remember these vertices are defined in local space as opposed to world space so this helps resolve that problem um, and here this basically makes sure that um, whether this makes sure that there we don't miss any type of collisions when objects are traveling way too fast or way too slow so that's what's going on there okay now I'm going to run my application again and I'll show you the, what the final results looks like again and as you can see the same situation when uh, the application first started running simulate alright thank you so much for watching my tutorial and please uh, remember to uh, subscribe and rate and leave me some comments I'll probably have the code posted on my uh, web on my blog at solidiscode.blogspot.com. Thank you again, and please rate and subscribe.